Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we'll discuss how this superhuman AI may be able to predict whether someone is at risk of an early death. A superhuman artificial intelligence was put on trial by the National Health Service to check how accurately it can predict the risk of disease and early death of a person. In the tool, the results of a cheap heart test are used to alert doctors regarding patients who require further tests for their heart problems. If the trials end successfully, the AI program AIECG Risk Estimation, or IRA, will be integrated as a common feature in the health service in the next five years. The artificial intelligence made the machines capable enough to generate images and videos, have a casual chat, or tell the difference between Coke and Pepsi. However, AI labs have been hoping to use this technology to fight diseases and understand the human body. This is done by Airay with the help of the results of electrocardiogram tests. The test studies heart rate, electrical activity, and rhythm to diagnose everything from myocardial infarction in adults and heart disease in children. These tests are used by the AI to check inside the heart of the patient in a way which is not possible for a doctor to see like digging through genetic information. Airy predicts not only risk of mortality, but time to mortality, said the researchers, adding that it creates a survival curve out of a single ECG test. The first trial of the program will be held at the Imperial College Healthcare NHS Trust and Chelsea and Westminster Hospital NHS Foundation Trust in 2025. Hundreds of patients will participate in the trial, and more such trials will be held at other hospital sites. Speaking to a PA news agency, a reader in cardiac electrophysiology at Imperial College London, and consultant cardiologist at Imperial College Healthcare NHS Trust, Dr. Fu Xiong Ng said, there are three or four different studies that are going to run across hospitals from the middle of next year. They are broadly to test that these models are accurate in picking up diagnoses. So, people who would already have an ECG at the hospital, we would test that these models are accurate in picking up certain diagnoses, he added. Then the next layer, once that's been shown, we can intervene to show that we can change the trajectory of the patients. Xiong Ng stated. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.